Hello, this is Reza from Radacad and today I'm going to talk about how to create a segmentation or grouping uh, in Power BI. Let's say you want to find out a group of customers or count of customers based on their count of orders. So grouping based on a count of another field. Let's see how it works. Let me explain the problem with an example. Let's say we have a table like this fact table and uh, you can download the file down in the description below. There's a link to my blog post and download the file from there uh, at the bottom of that blog post. Uh, let's say I have a file like uh, I have a Power BI file with one table like this fact internet sales and this table has sales transaction per date per customer uh, so I have a customer key field uh, I also have sales order number sales order line number uh, now in order to get uh, the calculation that we want the challenge the calcul the challenge that we want is that this table is the challenge that we have this, this table is a detailed table so if I want to achieve a visual like this let me make this visual a little bit bigger so if I want to achieve a visual like this which has count of orders as an axis count of orders is not a value it's an axis that is the main thing and then count of customers or customer key let's say uh, as the value so i'm actually aggregating on top of an aggregation it's not a normal scenario in power bi that you are just doing an aggregation uh, in order to achieve something like this like i want to see how many customers purchased three times or had three sales order or how many of them had four times sales uh, orders or how many of them had two times right in order to achieve something like that having a table like this table uh, which you can see here having a table with uh, with customer keys and count of orders would be uh, useful because then I can use this field as the axis and count of the other field as the value right but we don't have this table now uh, this is what I'm going to talk about in this uh, video that how we can create this table there are two ways to create it uh, and we usually call this problem like a grouping problem or segmenting segmentation problem how we can do that first way is um, let's say I can do that with DAX using calculated tables now in order to do that first I've created this measure count of orders very simple measure this is basically just a distinct count of the sales order number um, I used values inside value inside uh, account rows values gives me the distinct list uh, count rows give me count of that distinct list so this altogether give me the count of orders sales order number and if I go to a visual like this uh, in total I have 28,000 almost 28,000 orders in this data set now uh, what I have done is I've created a new table this is a table a new table here which is which is what we call it as a calculated table in DAX I used summarize DAX expression DAX function you can use summarize columns you can use group by there are different functions you can use for that this is one of those functions I said uh, group the fact internet sales based on the customer key name the new column the aggregation column as count of orders and uh, calculate that measure which is count of orders so as a result I will have every customer and their count of orders uh, I can even sort this uh, by the count of orders descending so you can see that customers who have done most uh, orders are listed as here right so now that I have this table I can go and visualize something like this I can go and build a visualization a table visual and in this table visual I can go and bring uh, customer uh, count of orders as the axis not as the value because that is my segmentation that is my group customer key as a value and that automatically changed this to be count of customer key 
and when you have a numeric value as an axis it usually comes like a linear I can go and change it to be categorical in the x-axis um, just a different look and feel and I also enable data labels right so as a result I have this now I have uh, the number of or the count of customers who purchased only once Cust count of customers who purchased twice three times four times now you might want to use this also to filter the other main table and that is usually part of the requirement for that you can go to the model and create a relationship so from this new created table I have created a relationship based on customer key to the original table that means whenever I filter this the other table also gets filtered using this relationship so now I can have a table beside this like this a table and the values of this table mainly coming from fact internet sales like customer key uh, order quantity sales amount and things like that now I can click on a category or a group or a segment here these are all customers who purchased four times or had four sales order and this is their sales amount the total sales amount or the sales amount of each individual customer those who had five times three times so you can have this grouping so really simple option uh, using DAX calculated tables now the same process can be achieved using power query uh, this is another method using power query and if you want to use power query for this uh, you can go to the home tab transform data or edit data edit queries uh, in power query you can reference from the original table I have it already here but I'm just doing it one more time so you can see how it is working so I can reference it from another table this will create a table like this then I can go and say group this table based on customer key group by because I want count of uh, distinct count of sales order number by customer key so I group by by customer key the only thing here is that there is no operation of distinct count of a specific column you have distinct count of all rows which I can select that and you can call this something like count of um, orders or something like that but then in the expression here this is formula bar that you can enable in the view tab in the expression here instead of table that distinct you can use list that distinct it is case sensitive be careful about that and then use a column here which is sales order number this should give you exactly the same output and uh, with less uh, calculation of course if I sort it here as well you should see exactly the same result as what we have achieved over there now I have done this already in the other table so I don't really need this this was just to show you how it works and same rules for the relationships after loading this you need to create a relationship between the two tables to make sure that uh, they talk with each other and here is the same scenario uh, I have this uh, segmentations and this will filter the other table so everything works perfectly fine this is what we call in Power BI uh, grouping or segmentation uh, which first you aggregate based on, an, based on a field and then you group based on the aggregation result of that field now the method that I explained here is what we call static segmentation or static grouping why it is a static because in both of these methods we did it uh, using pre-calculation approach when you use something as a DAX calculated table this is calculated at the time of refreshing your report same thing for power query it happens at the time of refreshing your report uh, what is the advantage of this the advantage is that this is fast because uh, you see that user reaction here is really fast right as soon as user select something see the result immediately here because the calculation is done at the time of refresh right it is uh, it is isolated from the time that user interact with the report however the disadvantage is that because it is pre-calculated a user actions here is not changing the way that calculation works for example if you look at this 
slicer down here let's say we want user to select a range and all of these calculations buckets grouping calculates based on that range in this case it is not you see that i changed the range and nothing really changed here I mean that table changed because that is coming from fact internet sales but this table which is my main grouping table doesn't really change right uh, because it is a static because it is calculated before this now uh, there is a way to change it and that is what we call as dynamic segmentation which i'll explain in my next video uh, but even this static segmentation is helpful if there is a scenario that you don't want the user selection of a slicer or something like that impact the uh, the way that calculation of groups works then do it as one of these methods my preference usually is power query unless uh, the dax way is is giving much better functions like path functions in dax otherwise power query is my preferred approach if it is dynamic however use the other method that i'll explain in the other video um, remember that you can download all of these files in my blog down in the description below if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai